Hey, denizens of the interweb. I've been working on a project that I think you'll like to see. For the last couple of years, I've been building a greenhouse with the intention of making it an aquaponics greenhouse. From that, I've kind of split off into permaculture and some other ideas that I'm going to look forward to this, this year here. Here we are in the early parts of March. But uh, why don't we take a uh, quick look here and let me show you what I got going. All right, everybody, why don't you come and follow me inside? show you what we've got here. I've got two fish tanks at roughly 350 gallons, another holding tank, which is where I can do water ads, put my heater in, it's about 275 gallons. So all, to get all things told, we'll probably be about a thousand gallons. A little difficult to see, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but I've got about 85 tilapia split e almost evenly between the two tanks. This is my return line from the holding tank. Down here is my sump tank. This is where I can do chemical ads. I can take it, take it, make sure that uh, everything is running well in the system. And this is basically the lowest point of the system where everything runs to. I have a pump, this lowest pipe down here, which pumps the water up into the holding tank, but also splits out into my grow towers. These grow towers were made from three inch sewer line and I've got, uh, as a media, I have got a swamp cooler pad, which I'm probably gonna change out because it retains water a little bit too well. Right over here, I have my, my barrels for my fish feed. So everything is self-contained here. I've got my knives, my nets, and my mosquito mitigator. Eventually what we'll be doing here is having a place to do swap outs, harvesting, and uh, I'll put a table here for seedlings. Come on down here a little bit further. Eventually I'm gonna expand this tower bay to five rows. Right now I only have three of four towers each. Uh, eventually I'll have a capacity of about 100 plants, which will equal roughly what I have in my garden. Turn around over here little bit of a spring cleaning here just getting started but I've got a couple vermicompost bins starting um, what uh, what I'll do here is this will be the the bedding for my seedlings which will uh, be contained here I'll be able to transfer the seedlings directly over to the towers I have a temperature monitoring uh, both here in the uh, greenhouse proper as well as the vermipost bin and also as well up here I have my uh, hydrometer and my uh, thermometer. Eventually we'll be putting lights in here and a little bit more a uh, little bit more creative. So come over here I'll show you real quick. Once the pump pumps up to the holding tank, drains down to the fish tanks, the fish tanks will fill up and as they overflow, the overflow is sent through these pipes here. I have an array of filters here. A radial flow filter which will slow down the solids by slowing the water. This will spill over to a biofilter, which is very dirty and not actually running right now. I've got some issues with that. The biofilter will then spill over to eventually what will be a trickle filter right now. It's kind of non-operational. So what I want to show here is kind of the guts of the system, the, the circulatory system. Um, underneath the decking, I have my, my pump, my return lines from my uh, filters and from the, uh, the tanks. And then, which you can't see because it's pretty well hidden, is the return tanks for my towers here. These will all spill back into the uh, sump tank. But in here I can control the rate of flow both up to the holding tank as well as over to the uh, uh, towers. I can keep my chemicals down here eventually. I want to build in a nice, um, a nice place to keep them. But this is just a, uh, a modular way to uh, get as much as I can out of 120 square feet. Eventually my plans will be to add some lighting overall like I was saying, uh, dress up some of my back end piece here which really doesn't look too awful hot right now. But it's been able to keep the uh, the greenhouse no colder than uh, 33 degrees at our absolute coldest this uh, this winter and it's gotten pretty damn cold. Most of the time I'm averaging right around 40 degrees in here and about 30% humidity. I'd like to get the humidity up a little bit more and of course the temperature up but we're working on it. 
So, welcome to the greenhouse. Thank you so much for coming along on my tour. I'd really like to thank my son Jake for helping me put this together. He is a whiz. Check out his channel, Jake and Eric, with a link in the description below. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it. We're going to have more videos to come, especially as I begin working on some of the permaculture activities I've got going outside, my raised bed garden, and uh, of course this uh, this greenhouse. It's been uh, a great a lot of fun for me, and I, uh, I hope to uh, bring you guys all along with me. So anyway, thanks again. Remember, like and subscribe. And take care.